Like the dismembered knight from Monty Python's The Holy Grail, just when you think the DNC's Russian paranoia has been assassinated, reassassinated, disposed of, acidified, and reduced to a mass of organic gack in an oil drum somewhere, you whirl about in your shit heel, and there it is, lumbering forward and giving you the fucking finger. <laughs> now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? I've heard worse. You liar! Come on, you pansy! When you cleave through the hyperbolic headlines from newspapers like the New York Times and Washington Post that traded their credibility for a red, white, and blue I'm with her unitard replete with butt flap motherfucking months ago, this is quite literally a carbon copy of the story that was floated and promptly discredited just two months ago. The lone deviation, it appears, is that now the CIA's name is attached. Well, color me fucking bemused, Basil Exposition, considering there ain't an alphabet soup agency under the yellow sun that Obama hasn't worn like a slingback thong over the past eight years. He wielded the IRS against his political adversaries, an impeachable offense that scuttled the flying fuck out of the Nixon presidency in case you fucking forgot. He leaned on the Justice Department to pursue political vendettas against Joe Arpaio and others, instructing them to expressly avoid prosecuting Hillary all the while. He enlisted the FBI for the self-same purpose. He had the NSA rifling through our fucking panty drawers. So I hear you saying I have no problem with what NSA has been doing. Well, let me, let me, let me finish, because I don't but he wants us to believe that because the CIA, a leaning tower of disrepute and depravity before Obama was but fucking born, has allegedly, fucking allegedly, put their stamp on this theory, absent proof of any description, fuck sipping the Kool-Aid, we should be gulping it by the gallon. Do me a favor, excise the word hack from your fucking vocabulary, at least until the next Angry Joe video, because to these bespectacled eyeballs, this has all the earmarks of a leak. An assessment shared by a UK diplomat personally acquainted, allegedly, with the DNC leaker in question, might I add. But right here, who benefits from this but Trump and Russia? <laughs> okay, so since Trump evaded the shit slick of the DNC's own making, He's the asshole of the hour. All right, let's pull on that thread, Demosthenes. If the likely perpetrator is identified solely by the absence of the scent of feces on their person in the aftermath, I ask you to consider an alternative proposal. Who, upon the release of the DNC leaks, came out with more of a sandalwood-scented asshole than Bernie Sanders? Hillary looks like Lucifer incarnate. Trump, at best, a buffoon. Colin Powell's emails describe Trump as a national disgrace, but Bernie? All he's missing is a crown of thorns and a length of dogwood. Sanders comes off positively messianic. Get that fucker some scourges and flays and his back will be as red as his politics. But fuck's sake, you mean to tell me it's a complete coincidence that in thousands of emails, every major DNC figure from Pelosi galore to Debbie Doberman Schultz's balls deep in corruption casserole, but Bernie Sanders, a man who's been in politics a quarter of a century, and who we know took lobbyist and special interest donations in the primaries, comes out shitting rainbows? And oh, hey, by the way, a member of the DNC who was an IT tech turned up dead just days before the DNC leaks. Will wonders never fucking cease. Why, if you were looking at demographics, you might even consider the fact that Bernie Sanders fans on the whole tend to be younger and therefore far more tech literate than Hillary's fans do and therefore would be far more likely to be culpable in a fucking leak. Well, that's purely circumstantial. Well, fantastic, it matches the accusations in the Washington Post then. We can sell them as a fucking set. Thus far, the media has provided no names, no places, no instances, not even circumstantial proof, and even the piteous quantity of horse shit in here say they do proffer is contradicted by other mitigating facts, such as their clown shoes contention that Russia hacked both the DNC and RNC simultaneously. When the DNC was hacked, mm -hmm. we called the FBI and they came in to help us. Mm -hmm. And they came in to review what we were doing and, 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 and through our systems, went through every single right. thing that we did. We went through this for a month I and I understand we were that. not hacked. So wait a second, if we were not hacked, and that is, that is absolutely not true, then where does that story lie? As we've been told, by the FBI repeatedly, including two days ago when we checked back with them about this issue, right. repeated the fact that the RNC was not hacked. So, so do you tell me where this story is at? Why would the press run with something that wasn't true?
Take that Russian hack talk to a Yakov Smirnoff show where it belongs, and I'll say this to John McCain, you melanoma pimple in search of a man. You may have spent the entirety of the primaries excoriating Trump and his supporters as, and I quote, the crazies, chiding them for backwoods conspiracy theories like, oh, I don't know, the concept that you were a dog shit presidential candidate, but it's inordinately telling that this wizened old Pez dispenser is choking down Obama's conspiracy kebabs and asking for fucking seconds. We should take this seriously, my friends. I concur, Methuselah, and I will, at the precise moment I'm provided with some fucking proof. What's the matter, you floppy arm fuckwad? Didn't get your rocks off hard enough to ushering thousands of young men to an early desert grave in Iraq over nine-year-old satellite photos and an etch-a-sketch illustration? Color me cautious, Father Time, but I'm not wild about the idea of taking cybersecurity tips from a cat whose first computer was an abacus. The only hack in John McCain ever does is in the wee morning hours before he's roused from his hyperbaric slumber to feast on peasant blood. Until you proffer proof, I shall proceed as if it's fucking fiction, which is precisely how it goddamn looks at this point. I'm Razor Fist, for Mother Russia, God fucking speed. <laughs>